Welcome back everybody for your dice locations in Crackmast Cove. Your first one is not far after you enter the area. While you're crossing this little rickety wooden bridge, there is a pillar above you. You can jump to it from the side here, walk across it, jump up to the cliff face, and hop all the way to the other cliff over here. I do want to say I took the time to explore all of the side areas that I could go to before I focused on this area's main quest, so there are probably better routes you can take to get more dice in a shorter amount of time. Lucky you. But I just, as I find them, that's whenever I put the clips in. So. Here you are. This one is all the way up the left side at this broken down ship inside of the hull. Your next dice is working towards the start of the main quest here. As you enter this small little town before carrying up further, there will be several shacks around you. This immediate one on your left hand side, you just climb up to the top of this roof. And your dice is right there. Uh, you feel lucky. Your next two dice are found easily during the In the Belly is a Beast side quest. While continuing on with that main direction, I know not. you will come across this cavern with a waterfall on your right. The dice is at the far side next to a pillar. And for your next dice in this area, once you progress to the point where you can see the whale and its open jaw, over on your right hand side there will be a little bit of an alcove in the cliff face, and your dice is in the back. Your next dice is in the far back very open area of this map. It'll be on your right hand side if your entrance is at the bottom. You just follow this pier down here into a slight drop down and your dice is on the corner. The more the dice, the your next dice is located roughly in the same area as the last one except found on your way back from that area. While you are leaving, stick to the left hand wall and you will come to this little platform here where you can reach this roof with your dice on top. Ooh, that's one lucky die. Now your next dice is in a place that you will be doubling back to later, so if you want to skip over and come back that's fine, or if you want to explore the map that you can, feel free. It is through this cave system under this shack. The majority of dice in Crackmast Cove are found during your main quest, the Trial of Crooked Eye Phil, and this is one of them. After searching through his study for his certificate of non-evilness, progressing through the back will be your dice. Ooh, luck going your next dice is found while progressing on with the main quest line before you are supposed to bre start breaking totems and entering this town here. At the top of this walkway, turn around and you'll find a pillar just like at the very beginning. And your dice is on on top of it. Your next dice is located in the area immediately after your previous one. Whenever you enter the glade where you are supposed to destroy this first totem. After the encounter, if you head to the far back wall instead of turning right, your dice will be behind this tent. Now, there are a few dice in this city area that you just unlocked here. Your first is all the way up on this left hand side, there is this lone house. Break these boxes and go around the back and your dice is on the balcony. Lucky you. Your next dice is located to the right of the main entrance to this town. As you head along this right hand wall you will find several docks that jut out over thin air. And if you jump from this first one down to this building, there will be your dice. The more the dice! Now, your next couple dice are found during the all swashed up side quest. After progressing through the quest to the point where you drop down through a slight tunnel, you will hit this cave with a little pond and your dice is to the left. Ooh, that's one lucky die. 
Progressing forward through this quest, you will hit a courtyard where you are supposed to search for items. While you are here and searching, progress straight across to this doorway here. And you will find several rafters to climb up. After reaching the second tier, hop up on top of this box and jump up on top of this platform. Numbers, go! Your next dice is located towards the end of the A Wandering Eye side quest. After entering this chamber where Lachance is being held captive, over on your right hand side will be a small tunnel. And that tunnel progresses over towards where the whale earlier was. And at the top of this is your dice. Ooh, that's one lucky die. After coming back to the town, I came across another dice that I missed whenever I was here initially. On the backhand side of the buildings, uh, as you're running along this back path, there will be a bit of a cut-in to the right, a small alleyway, and your dice is in that alleyway. After progressing to the next little section of town after the previous one and clearing the encounter, instead of progressing forward, there will be a turn off here on your left and a small staircase and a balcony. Ignore that and drop down past this ladder. There will be a wall here to break, run through the sewer system, and once you get to the end, there will be a dice. After leaving this section of town, you will cross a long and thin bridge. A couple feet past the start of this bridge, the building on your left will end, and there is a ladder on top of that building. You hop up to that ladder, climb up to the top, and there is a dice inside this broken ship. After progressing a little further, there will be a turn off to your left where you are supposed to go to free your crooked eyed friend. As you are heading down to free him from his box prison, before messing with that, immediately on your right, as soon as you can, there will be a dice. And now, whenever you are supposed to break into the prison where he actually is, there will be a cannon that blows up a wall and a small loop around in front of this building here. Go all the way around to the far side and your dice will be waiting for you. <laughs> 